Hey dolls, Curly Chaotic, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my hair is currently in a protective style. They are the Crochet Havana Mambo Twist. As far as the type of hair, the amount of hair and everything that I used, I already posted a video on that. And if you want to see a tutorial on how I installed it in my hair, because I didn't use the typical cornrow method, I also put a video for that out as well. So I am just gonna make a quick update as far as how the hair has been holding up with the method that I used and how I maintain it. I wanna say I've had this in my hair for going on about three weeks now. So far it's holding up okay, but I do think because of the, the method that I use, which is the box braid method, no cornrow method, I'm gonna take my hair down and show you with one, how I maintain and how to upkeep I like the fact that I'm not really messing with my hair, I'm giving my real hair a break, but it's very important that while your hair is in any type of weave or protective style that you are keeping it moisturized to prevent any type of breakage, especially around the edges. Whenever my hair or my scalp starts to feel a little itchy, I use my little uh, scalp soother comb. You guys see me use it plenty of times in other previous videos, but as far as what I've been using, I just I'm just going to show you guys what I use. Now the first thing I want to say is you can clearly see that some of them are unraveling or starting to unravel. So being that this is already the third week, I'm actually surprised that I've kept it in such condition for this long. Now you guys that didn't watch the first video, you're probably wondering what are these red things that's sticking out. Again, I didn't use the regular cornrow method. I used the invisible box braid method or no cornrow method. So I'm gonna take my hair down and show you how it was done so you guys see how I've been up keeping with it. Yesterday, I redid my scalp I massaged my edges and I put a little oil in anywhere where my hair is parted and there was like one or two where I had to redo them because when I first first did the crochet I think it was like this one right here I had to redo these two because those were the first two that I did when I started and I installed it the wrong way so I actually have leftover hair. I originally bought I think six or seven packs of hair so I have extra crochet just in case one messes up. But so far I only had to redo like maybe one, two or like two or three of them. As you can see this right here, this is my hair that's actually exposed. When I crocheted my hair, all I simply did was wrap it around in the crevice of where it naturally wants to fall in the little cracks. That's all I did. And sometimes as I'm doing that, I may scrunch it in an upward motion because it kind of hides it a little better. But the only issue I had with that is, this is 12 inch hair, see? So at this point, my hair is completely covered. You can't see it anymore. See that? I would say the only thing I did not like about this method, and I'm not sure if it's because of the hair that I bought. I bought the 12 inch hair. So with that being said, my hair is already kind of long. So every time that I am doing this and scrunching it in an upward motion like I just showed you, it's really easy for my hair to show or it ends up meeting sometimes at the end, especially in the back. I had a harder time doing that. So maybe perhaps in the future if I ever do this style again, I might want to consider how I install them or I might want to get the longer pack of hair to see if perhaps it'll hold up better. This is my first time doing it so it's really hard for me to say. Now as far as upkeeping my hair, I did it on freshly washed hair. I used the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Collection. I wanted to make sure my hair was fully moisturized before I had this long term protective style in. And as far as the styler, I wanted to make sure that I'm using a very hydrating. When I did my actual twist on my real hair, all I used was the Control Hair Care. It's a small company, but it's a twist and shout. So I've been using this a lot lately, especially now during the winter and these colder months. This has been a doing a great job at keeping my hair moisturized so I like this I don't really have to touch my hair for a few days but being that my hair is in a protective style it is just very itchy I just use some type of oil and this is um, a company called glam naturally and this is a braid oil for the scalp they actually sent me two of these oils the first one was just a hair oil that i use for a pre-poo and this one i use when i'm massaging my scalp 
all I do, I'm not gonna open it because I just did it yesterday, but I would just follow wherever the line is and go down and I would just basically do that, massage it in. If I need to scratch it, I'll scratch it. Then I'll take my spray bottle and just mist it. And I don't know what that does, but for me, it just activates like that nice tingle, refreshing feeling. So that's been getting me through this protective style. As far as, um, sometimes I alternate, especially in the front. I might use Sulfur 8 just right here to kind of scoop down my edges. Being that this is week three, I am probably gonna unravel this probably by week four four and I'm just ready to take it out now. I'm kind of missing my natural hair. I know it's weird because I'm a lazy natural. I think the first day, maybe the first day or two, I used the little braiding cuffs, but being that these twists can unravel easily, I don't use the braiding cuffs anymore. Maybe if I had braids, I would. that would be a better option. This is how I've been wearing my hair for the most part. And when I'm in the house, I usually have my satin scarf on anyway. Sometimes when the ends are exposed in my scarf, I might use a bonnet to protect the ends. But again, it's really tough getting all of this hair into that little teeny bonnet. But aside from that, I usually just wear it just regular. I'm still plain Jane with it, you know. Or sometimes I put it in a side up ponytail or I might do a half ponytail where I'll grab a couple in the front and just kind of pin it out of the way. You can put it in a nice little bun if you want to. So I just like the versatility that I've had with this hair since I had it. Last thing I want to talk about is how I maintain my hair at night. I still do the same technique. I use a regular satin scarf and I kind of fold it in the little triangle, flip my head over in like how you normally would a pineapple. That's all I've been doing. So again, I really like how I've been giving my hair a break. And the only thing I do not like so far is you see how sometimes you could kind of see it. So whenever they start coming out, I have to fix them like this. So other than that, I really do like, I know when I'm ready to take this out, I know it's going to be really, really easy. I can either cut them or uninstall them properly so that I can reuse it again, which I doubt I probably would because this hair is frizzy really, really fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as far as how I maintain and upkeep these uh, crochet twists. If you have any questions or suggestions, because I'm a newbie, please leave it down in the comments below and I will see you guys next time.